Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and today, believe it or not, I am once again going to open up the Power Mac G5 and put stuff into it. I suspect this will probably be the last in this series of upgrades that we've done in terms of trying to modernize that machine and bring it up to its maximum capabilities. Uh, so what we have planned today, first of all, yes, I was able to acquire a Blu-ray disc drive that is IDE connected. Now, whether it works or not, the only way I'm going to be able to tell is to put it in there and find out. The, uh, the seller wasn't completely sure. Uh, well, actually, he, he, he was quite sure it worked, but didn't know about, you know, exactly what its uh, disk writing capabilities would be. But we'll give it a shot and see. Now, while I've got it open, you know, I've been intrigued, of course, with that internal FireWire 800 port that was on the PCIe card that I put in. So in making some use out of that, I do have a one terabyte SSD. Uh, and wherever the heck it's gone, this is not the one I'm going to do, but that's you know, an OWC enclosure uh, into which I will put the drive. Once I've taken the uh, DVD drive that's currently in the machine out, we'll get that put in, snake through the FireWire uh, cable, then put in the Blu-ray drive, and hopefully all that will work. Well, we'll find out then, won't we? And in order to find out, of course, please stay tuned. Well, here we are opened up again. Uh, I did want to indicate, uh, as I did I think in the last uh, video, actually getting these optical drives out is not difficult at all. There's two latches there and it will slide out. You'll be able to detach the IDE cable and the Molex cable. Now one one point of interest, this uh, DVD, this, excuse me, this Blu-ray drive is a fair amount longer. Uh, it, this is making it look longer than it really is. It, it's um, perhaps half an inch a little bit more longer than the DVD drive that's, DVD drive that's currently in there. Uh, there is room to accommodate that, but it is going to make things a little tighter. Now, the other plan will be to get my proposed uh, FireWire attached drive up in this space above. And, and for that, actually, I think this is probably... Well, it's certainly not going to be any harder. It's about the same uh, width as this one. Well, anyway, I've got to get to this, so please stay tuned. All right, where well, we are so far, I've got the FireWire drive connected to a FireWire cord running through and into the card there. I did, using mounting putty, attach the FireWire drive to the top. Now, I don't know if it'll stay there, but uh, I'm thinking at the very least it may assist as I put the new optical drive back in. Oh, uh, we shall find out anyway. So, You'll note that, that both the IDE and the Molex uh, are free and clear above the FireWire cord, which I've rounded in behind the two. Uh, all right, so now I'll try to get that drive in there. Stay tuned. Okay, the drive is in. We've got some clearance between the FireWire drive and the optical drive, the 
metal shielding here came off the old drive easily enough. The mounting screws, which are, yeah, you can sort of see them in there behind the locking clips. Uh, they are Torx screws. Fortunately, I've been inside Apple computers uh, enough times over the years. Uh, we've got the IDE plugged in, the Molex is plugged in next to it, and the Firewire is plugged in. So, I think we can say now that we are ready to close this guy back up. This all, of course, took longer than it really should have, but anyhow, we're about ready to close this guy back up and see what happens when we power it on, so please stay tuned. I had decided to spare you the boot up uh, of the machine. I'm kind of sorry I did. Now, the, the first thing that popped up was uh, this disk not readable uh, warning offering to initialize it. I sort of left it because very quickly after that, the software update popped up. Now, that's a little hard to believe. There hasn't been a software update for Leopard since 2011. So we're going to have to see exactly what this update is. I think we got an idea, maybe. Plugin manager improves reliability. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see exactly what it is. It's the Final Cut Express update because I did install Final Cut Express. That's relatively new. Took a while to get that in there. Okay. Uh, I'll deal with that later. First, uh, sorry for jostling you there. First thing to deal with, let's take care of this drive. Disk utility. Okay, well, okay, here's, here's something. Plex Store BDR. That's got to be the Blu-ray Blu -ray disc. Why BD, I'm not sure, but... Uh, uh, well, Blu-ray disc and then a uh, writable, I suppose, or readable. I, I don't really even know. Okay, now, yes, here we see... Hmm. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the... Uh, 1.8 terabyte... This is surprising me. I, I didn't think I was buying a 2 terabyte drive. I guess I did. Well, that's, that's surprising. Okay, uh, so we're going to erase the drive. Mac OS Extended Journal. And give it the name of... Firewire data. And we'll erase. That should come up pretty quickly. Oh, fudge. My mistake. That was the backup drive. I just I just erased the backup drive. Oops. Well, I'll deal with that later. We can do backup. This is the drive. And yes, it is one terabyte. Oh, what an idiot I am. Well, okay. Uh, look, I'm going to clean this up. I'll be right back. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Yeah, okay, that was that was stupid. I, I remember watching a Drago 1 video once where he did exactly the same thing, but I, I think it was a boot drive <laughs> that he actually erased. Uh, not the one he was booted into, of course. Uh, so, yes, Mercury Elite AL Pro is back in there. We're just going to have to do the backups again, of course. Firewire data uh, is down there. So we have an extra terabyte now of storage. And I'm probably going to reconfigure things a little bit. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave that for cleaning up. We can close out our disk utility now. And now let us see in about this Mac. Same old machine that we've been dealing with. And 
where are we going to look first? Let's have a look under Firewire. On the Go Pro, an unknown device. The unknown device is uh, simply a, a cord that I have plugged into the darn thing. Uh, and then the On The Go Pro is the enclosure for the FireWire drive. Uh, yeah, that's I, I leave a FireWire cable plugged in there uh, just to make it easier to, to plug things in when, when I do need to. Okay, disk burning. Yep, there's the Plex Tour, all right. So it's, it's in there and it's reading. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, I, I've got CDs and DVDs I can put in there just to make sure that it's actually reading, although I don't doubt it. But I honestly don't have a Blu-ray disc to put in there. Uh, so I will have to get one just so, you know, we can, we can test it and see how it's working. But hey, so far, this is, this is in very, very good shape. Uh, so we've got an extra terabyte of storage, and we have a Blu-ray Blu drive all ready to go there. And I've got a nice, clean, freshly erased backup drive. I still can't believe I did that. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so that's one of the first things we're going to have to do. So, uh, we're going to end this video at this point. Uh Hopefully there will be a follow-up to it uh, once I've reconfigured the storage space on here because it, it doesn't, I don't think it makes good sense to leave it exactly like it is. Uh, I mean, off the top of my head, I'm thinking of moving the Tiger installation onto the FireWire disk. Uh, and maybe the Snow Leopard as well. Those two would make sense uh, to have on the FireWire disk, which will still leave some, some extra data. Then we're going to have the whole hard drive in there as extra data, which would be good, and have that much more data on the SATA SSD that's in there now. So, yeah. Why do I want all of the storage on this machine? I think that's a fair question. I have no real idea. It's just one of those things that that FireWire port was eating at me. It was there. I had to use it. And I'm, I'm sure I will, I will make good use of the additional storage. Uh, and the Blu-ray drive, well, again, it's the same thing. Uh, and for the rather limited uses I have for the optical drives, the DVD drive that was in there was fine. But I could do this, and it just... I love this machine, so I really just had to do everything I could to bring it up to date. So really, unless anybody out there has got bright ideas as to what else I can do now with this machine... Uh, I think we're pretty well set to go. So, anyhow, be good to other people. They certainly deserve it. We'll make this a better world yet. Be good to yourselves. You deserve it. And we want us all to be well and healthy to take full advantage of the better world once we finally do get there. And... Yeah, I mean, this world is not a better world right now. It's far from it. But since we have to live in it, please, please take very, very good and careful care. I'll be right back with you with more videos real soon. Until that time, this has been Broken Electronics.